Just go up and have a little fun. Yeah, put around. You know what? I am going to put my shoulder harness on. That way you could have an open casket funeral. Yeah. I let you fly this last time, right? Yes, sir. You liked it, didn't you? Yeah. That's a good flying little airplane. I do. Runway 13, that checks. Compass is still off. 140, pretty close. Looking forward to the day that I commission and I can actually sit right seat. <laughs> Instruments look like they're in the green. Cessna Citations gear like that, too? Oh, yeah. yeah. Sure can. That's a good feeling, I guess. Yeah. I'd sure. rather feel it than not, in my opinion. Where do, we, where, where do you want to go? Where, where are we going? I have no idea. Just going to fart around. How's that sound? <laughs> Blair traffic. Just going to fart around. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, do the, we'll just depart the field like we should. How's that sound? Okay. Full air traffic, so the Cessna Skyline P665 Charlie, starting left crosswind, 1913, departing full air. I don't usually make a crosswind call, but when I started, when I was doing some stuff at Miller, they wanted crosswind calls. And I think just because it's a busy airport. That could very well be the case. Full yeah. air traffic, uh, Cessna Skyline P665 Charlie, starting left downwind, runway 13. The party flex. That's something else I'm trying to stay fresh on too is my radio communication skills. So you're doing a hell of a job. I yeah, I just when my brain is processing everything new, like I've been doing for my instrument, I've noticed I've just been fumbling all of, all over my radio communication. <laughs> And last call, Blair. Traffic Cessna 2235 Charlie says uh, over midfield of the party, Blair. It's just a smooth airplane. Well, it helps when you got smooth air, too. Yeah. So I'm going to do my stage check tomorrow morning. You are, huh? So hopefully he puts me right in stage four and then. I should only have about two months left before I can take my check right. Oh, it's exciting. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to go out and get a beer and celebrate when you... Yeah. I started my last class for my bachelor's today, too. So nice. Just I'm trying to be glad when that shit's over. Yeah, with. I'm just trying to finish and knock everything out, man. We, we all do it. Yeah. Seventy two horsepower. Oil temperature. I did look at some videos for that too. Yeah, it just takes a lot of the work out, you know. Yeah, helps with your workload. But just the cruise performance on this is so much better with the gear. Oh yeah, and the gear being retracted. Oh, it's a it does a really good job. I uh, yeah, you can't beat a 182. I had a 210 once, and I've had nothing but maintenance nightmares with that one. Yeah. 
but uh, this, I mean, it was a nice plane. I mean, it's uh, it was a fast airplane, but had you know two extra seats. Yeah. Contact, maintain four thousand for now. Turn right, heading two three zero. Join Victor six. Heading two three zero. Join Victor six. Maintain four thousand. Flight sixteen eighty two. Damn flight. That's the job you need to get. What's that? Amp flight. What they do they do? Oh, they haul boxes around. <laughs> I need my commercial for that, wouldn't I? Oh, you'll get it. <laughs> it's so nice, way up here. So we're headed southwest. So I did my first... I don't know if I told you, I did my first IMC night flight. We filed an IFR to uh, Fremont and did an approach. Oh, did you? Yep, that was pretty sweet. That's sweet. Because the cloud deck was almost, there wasn't more than probably like 20 feet of, it was literally just you went right through it. Yep. It was pretty cool. Got like a point one IMC, huh? No, it was more than that. We ended up on our way back, the cloud, it came up, and so we were floating around 3,000 feet, and it stayed there. So 23 and 23, right? That's usually what I do. Okay, 75 horsepower. 75 percent, yeah. Got it leaned out to about 13.7 now. Need to lean it out a little more. Oh, that's your prop. Oh, it is. Yep, thank you. Yeah, you just lean that out to about 13.7. This is not fuel injected, so we can't do the lean find on it. Yeah. So there, when it starts getting rough, I go one, two, three. That's just about Ridge perfect. Ridge of peak. Yeah. yeah. I don't like to do lean and peak. Why is that? I don't know. I just hear so many. Four it's stories. kind of hard on me. Engines. You don't know what you're doing, you could screw it up. Yeah. Better to be on the safe side. So what is this uh, dash green line? Not sure. Don't know. Where's he at? Six miles out? Yeah, 2,700 feet below us. Can I do something on you right quick? Sure, go ahead. Traffic's showing up on this one, but not on this one. Probably up here somewhere. It's 20 miles out. I don't know where he's at. So this is ADSB in, right? Gotcha. I was looking at how long it takes to get from BTA to Lincoln. And this, according to the profile I have loaded in four flight. And it's 20 minutes. <laughs>
think what what you need is a filter. Oh yeah, something needs to be done. Oh, I'll get it in there eventually. I'm on departure with a contact on 18 via fire above 3,500 and turn left heading 050. What's our ground speed? 127 knots. Yeah. <laughs> we have like 1682 coming. What's that? 284 and 13 knots here. Oh, my dear, I'm like Skywatch 2960, turn right direct Lincoln. This guy's coming up. Right direct Lincoln. Skywatch yeah, fine. Yeah, he's faster than we are. Ground speed 174. Silver so 816, Omaha approach, DC 19 4000, expect visual approach when I want for left. you checked out and the uh, you know uh, insurance says you can fly it I mean yeah absolutely that's cool seeing Omaha from way up here it's yeah. about the highest I've been in a in this any piston airplane Southwest 3420, turn right heading 050. Two five zero, Southwest 3420. I took... Southwest started changing. They positioned the runway was closed and off it, so they positioned the airplanes down to Plattsmith. Yeah. And my, my, I just took my wife and we followed the Platte River all the way around up to the north of Blair, and then came back around the bluffs and then landed back at Plattsmith. But that's cool. This was. It's nice being out here away from the Class C airspace. Before Charlie Alpha, expect that. See where L Street is. Yep. Because of all the industrial buildings. Right. <laughs> Silver Rock 816, fighting 270, emergency plan, 219, 3000. Right heading uh, 050. Right here on 050, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0
Blair, you're going over to the Blair Airport or the city of Blair? So I looked at the performance charts on, on this. Right, yeah. And it looked to me like the best performance is... 4136, airport 3 o'clock, 9 miles. Right around 12,000 feet. 4136, clear visual approach. Right, as far as right, fuel economy tower, and uh, endurance. Clear for the visual, 14 right, tower 132.1, off way 4136, talk to you in a bit. Yeah, we got an oxygen bottle for this thing in mass. Oh, do you? We haven't used it yet. But, you know, if you had to get up, you know, above some build-ups or uh, mountains or something, it's nice to have. Yeah. If you're one of those that really enjoy flying over mountains, it's a single engine airplane. 500 and we're going to Was that? That sounded a little rhetorical. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Can you report Charlie Alpha? Charlie Alpha, need 230. Where's Blair? Oh yeah, there's Millard right there. Yep. This is 144th and Q. Or no, I'm sorry. 144th and is West Center. There we go. Jeez. Is that what that is? Yeah, this is 144th and West Center. There's the mall. I see the water tower from Millard as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's Millard down there. Okay. Yep. That's 601 in Zulu, my approach. I did. Don't want to come in So one is either way contact two southeast to Council Bluffs, they request. This one is either maintain via far to below 3000, regional navigation Lincoln. Midfield in route to Blair. What's the temperature up here? Minus four, no, minus five degrees Celsius. Three miles from Buffett, turn left any one six zero, maintain VFR, clear on I think you run one full left approach. I guess this would be, uh, 
this would be precision then, wouldn't it? Okay, LBB is precision? It's like it precision, it's still considered non-precision, but okay. it, uh, it gets you down to lower minimums. Yeah. How about that? I still have a signal up here. That's exciting. At 12,000 feet. <laughs> okay, 1-4 heavy, we're in navigation 0-4. I looked up how to adjust this compass. Just yeah. These two screws. Oh yeah, I need to do a compass swing on it. Go rock eight sixteen. A little loose for my taste. Down. I need to figure out how to tighten that up. I like these vertical cards. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> I'm so used to the little whiskey compass. Yeah. Those uh, R model 172s. I think have the uh, I think the uh, yeah. That's what Victor, Victor, we're to contact him out east of Miller, maintain VFR at or below 3,000, flight in 090. 090 at or below 3,000. It's even smooth up here, isn't it? Yeah. Cessna 180 Zulu, I'll proceed to your discretion. Let's see, uh, airman segments. No high turbulence, no low turbulence. That's nice. Topcat 1-4 heavy, climbing instructions for all approaches, flight runner heading, maintain 3,000. Southwest 2784, I'm on departure, bear contact, climb maintain 15,000. In the winter time especially, it's easy to shut cool these engines, so I kind of keep it above the green and do a slow descent. No rapid power adjustments from I, you know, power to idle. Power to idle or idle to power. Right. Okay. Southwest 2784, appreciate it, Jayhawk. Plus it's easier on the ears when you do a slow descent. Yeah. In an unpressurized airplane. Brush Hello, Skybus 3662, Southern Flight 180, zero descending 16,000 with X-ray. Scott 3662, Omaha approach, continue present, heading to maintain 5,000, expect there's approach on that 1-4 right. That's kind of nice. A true airspeed, uh, 500 feet per minute there, we're doing 165 knots. Okay, uh, present heading down to 5,000, initial awesome. approach 1-4. Ground speed is 157. Not bad for a direct cross one there. 310 and 21, is that what it is? Yeah, 309 and 21, yeah. Okay, Fort Alpha, I'm on departure, rid of contact, I'll your discretion, expect that, how the approach coming in? So, as we go further down in the you atmosphere, the manifold right pressure will come back up, right? Yep. Yeah. RPM is just the bite that the propeller has in the air. Right, so we have a set, we'll keep it there. That's awesome. It is awesome. So, what do you do if you have a runaway prop? No. Or do you just you just figure out what it's doing and then try to... Yeah. I guess this won't do you any good. If, no, just shut the engine off. Yeah. Get down. How much do you think a governor is on this thing? Don't know. Could tell you. like to fly at night. I love flying at night. I do too. I just, uh, I got a lot of night time. Probably about 4,500 hours a night. Wow. But so it's seven mic out. That was picture. always twin engine airplanes. From a picture of Victor, we're going to have a game. play a caravan at night with FedEx. Really? Like there in aviation, yeah. You kind of get used to it after a while. That's the seven mic out for radar service terminated. Squad 3 and 5 change approved.
Omaha, purchase of our gate 13 with you at a 17.6 for 16,000 X-ray to land. Still for gate 13, Omaha approach, please to maintain 5,000, expect there's a purge on at 1 for left. Does it do a standard rate? It does do a standard rate, that's right. Oh yeah. That's awesome. Okay, 14 heavy, just going to maintain 6,000. Number six, Romeo Victor, Ritter service terminus, clock VFR, pretty change approved, appears one in the pattern. Six, Romeo Victor, sit on. Close to five zero, Quebec, on my approach, clock zero two six four. So another question for you. Sure. How much do you think an external powering unit would cost for something like this? It's 20, this is 24 volts, I would imagine. It is. Yeah. You mean a power card or something? Yeah, an extra, external yeah, power. Alpha, turn right, 180. Probably 1200, I don't know. You get one, I guess. I'd have to look. I wouldn't even know. I'm sure it's 40s has something. <laughs> I just, I did that at Offit when I first got checked out in their 182. I hooked up the external power unit and just sat in the airplane for about eight hours. Oh, is that right? Eight hours? Wow. Well, on different days, not all at once. 5-minute-7 off of Miller for Children's Hospital having a fight. 5-minute-7, when did Omaha? Just trying to get oriented with the avionics because it's got an Aspen and a Garmin 430 in it. Tells you where the river is. Tower 36, 62, 4,000. Is that your flight path right now? Uh, I bet that's it. I, think, I don't know what that is. I'm not too sure. No, it's showing you the course to the airport. Because I have Scott a... 36, 62, I do this. Oh, direct to. 17, 4,000, Scott 36, 62. We should center that needle and tell, tell us what heading to fly. ETA is 3. Oh, I see. Okay. I mean, I think I think that's your track vector, though. Yeah. Move down up there. Yeah. That's cool. I've never used it. I'm not sure. But I need to read up on what that really does. See, it's pretty much kind of off Air Force Base. It is Charlie Current. Yeah, I don't want to fly down past the Southwest that's Airlines. Three zero one five. Just stay out of their way. Turn left heading 070, veteran final. 070, vector to Rocky So, speaking of insurance, I mean, I don't, I need to do my research too. I don't think it would be responsible of me to just leave that up to you. But to do my own research and figure out, but. 750, Quebec, maintain via fighter below 3,500. I don't know if that's something that, if obviously my insurance is means way more expensive than yours. Yeah, we just need to see first what it's going to be. Okay, one more hit right now. And then get you some time in this baby. That's yeah. what we need to do. Top got one four heavy. We should be excluded. Hold southeast as published. Maintain six thousand. So what happened when I met with you a couple of years ago in 2018? You had another student that was here for that kind of discretion. Yeah. What happened with him? Did he? Well, I got too busy. I had to hand him off to another flight instructor. I felt bad about it, but you know it wasn't fair to him because I'm always on the road flying that Citation jet. And yeah. You know, when the schedule. Down to 3,000. Down to 3,000. So we're at 13. I'm wondering if I should just let it last. What's that? Oh, you're CFI, but I'm not going to. I'll probably just. All right, down to 3,000, still the size. Sky was 36. I'll just redo it again. Got 3662. Well, what do you got to do? Just the refresher course? Yeah, online. All right, Sky was 3662. I can't believe how nice and smooth it is up here in Air Force. I know, this is great. This is Nebraska. It's never smooth in Nebraska. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a nice little 
see I'll go direct here again, center the needle here, then I'll hit GPSS here. And then nav on here? Well, you shouldn't have to, it'll, it'll do it on its own. Skyway 3662, contact tower 132.1. 132.1, Skyway 3662, FNA. Airplane 1686, contact approach 128.75. 2875, 1686, good night. What are we down to, 7100? Yeah, I'm just doing a slow descent. Booking it, how much? 161. That's awesome. I'm just slowing it down. Yeah, 161 true air speed, ground speed's 162. I love this airplane. It's Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice flying airplane. If you and I were to start doing like a a maintenance fund, I would. What do you think would be a reasonable amount every month? I don't know. Uh, I think AOP has figures that you can look up. Are you a member of AOP? I am. I've been wanting to do that. I might do that. Um, but you know, I mean, we're so high. I mean, we're so close to you know 500 hours away from TBO anyway. It's like yeah. Anything you put in there is good, but you know you still have your annual inspections and anything that breaks. Yeah. So you know it's like you're kind of renting from yourself, but any money you throw in is like it's going to help. You know, it's so investing into your asset. Lock and one zero mile traffic. City that's news. why I like owning rather than oh, renting. Six miles. Yeah. Final Embraer Jet three thousand. Plus you don't know who flew it last. All right, we got the airport right. in sight, and we're I think you get people up there doing negative G's for, all the time. It's two one three. Kind of like taking a paper clip and bending it back and forth till it breaks, you know? Right. Alright, clear for the visual. Flight present heading till turn final for 14 left to Rocket 13. Um, maybe that car can jump up when you do that. That's awesome. That's a nice indicator to have. Yeah. It is pretty cool. That goes right back up. Um, I don't know. What, what kind of comes to mind for me, and I don't know. I guess we need to do our research. Is $250 a month. Just from one of us, I don't know if that sounds... Yeah, we'll just kind of, we'll work all that out. I mean, I'm, I'm easy going, you know, I'm laid back. It's, yeah. I'm not one of those anal guys who, you know, you just use common sense. I, I, and I like, obviously I like working on airplanes, so any maintenance that needs to be done, Yeah. Let me know. I'll come out and help you out. All right. I've got some experience cleaning spark plugs and gapping. Very nice. It goes a little bit further than that, but... Okay, we'll cross over midfield for left down wind. One three is what we'll do. Okay. You don't want to do an RNAV? No. You do enough instrument. Four miles. Affirmative for 813. So I gate 13, maintain for the first time. Traffic start. again, they're landing the right side and contact tower 132.1, so long. All right, going to tower, maintain vertical for visual separation for gate 13. You said uh, midfield 13? Yeah, we'll cross over midfield, we'll make left down one. Let me know when you want me to switch radios. Yeah, I'm just kind of keep an eye on traffic out here. You can go and switch over now, it's fine. Okay. Flare traffic, Southern Skyline, 3665 Charlie. Eight miles southwest into land, cross midfield, left down wind, runway 13, Flare. Yeah, I wanted to fly because I wanted to keep my proficiency up in this thing. I haven't flown it in a while. But yeah. Everyone I fly with, I usually look at them in the left Let's seat, see. so I never get to fly it. Let me know anytime you want to go up. Absolutely. Or any, anytime you are going up and you need somebody to sit in the right seat. Sure, absolutely. I just, I like the experience. Every little bit. Okay. 
That's the most fun you could have with your pants on, isn't it? <laughs> and still stay, stay legal. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. <laughs> That looks like the runway right in front of us. Yep, it is. I don't know, is it pilot control lighting? Yep, yep sure it is. sure is. Here it goes. Did you see the lights come on? Yeah. You see him? I see him. Okay, well, you got better eyesight than I do. Uh, they're probably on if you did it. Uh, oh, I see him now. Okay. I really need to bring my glasses when I fly. No, I'm getting to be an old man. <laughs> this thing does not like to slow down. I, yeah, the 182 at off it doesn't either. It's crazy. Blair traffic, Southwest Skyline 365 Charlie is three miles southwest in the land cross midfield, downwind 113, full stop Blair. Can't believe I've been flying since I was 16. I Would it be appropriate for me to ask how old you are now? 53. Yeah. <laughs> Can you believe that? I've been flying that long. That's awesome. And I'm the only one in my family that flies. That's awesome. Yeah, I was thinking about that the other day. I said, shit, I've been flying a long time. I still enjoy it. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's nice, too, that if you're not flying for the airlines or a company like JetLinks, you're not getting worn out oh, or burned out. I know, I'm not, yeah. So you kind of... You do get burned out with those guys. You really do. And Silverhawk, you know, those, those people don't... They don't pay industry standards. Yeah. That's okay. Flyer traffic system, Skyline 2635 Charlie, turn left down, one, one, three, full stop, Flyer. Speed checks, I'll take a notch of flaps. Okay, one notch, come down. Yeah, I'll take gear down. Gear, come down. Flare traffic says that three six Five Charlie is turning left base. One three full stop Blair. Your checks. Landing checklist. Where in the hell's the landing checklist? I force myself to do that when I'm flying alone. Before landing, seatbelt, shoulder harness, adjust the lock. Fuel selectors in both. Landing gears down and locked. Landing gear check. Indicator light illuminated. Green down and locked. Mixture full rich. Totally right there. It runs a little rich anyway. Okay, car beats on. Propellers high RPM. Autopilot is off. Okay, props coming to high. Player traffic, Cessna 3665, Charlie is turning, final 1 right 1, 3, full stop, Blair. Final does look clear. Airspeed 7080. I told you, it doesn't, doesn't like to slow down. We're blowing past the final. That's all right, I'm trying to do that. Okay. I'm going to do Esther. Okay, give me another notch. Okay, notch flaps. There we go. Landing checklist, airspeed 70, 80 knots. Oh, that's flaps up, my bad. Wing flaps as desired. 95 knots. Okay, I'll take full flaps now. Full flaps. All right, get us down. Airspeed 65, 75, flaps down. Touchdown, main wheels first. Break minimum required. Yeah, touching on the nose wheel first in these airplanes is yeah. not good. It's uh, pretty common actually uh, because of the way you sit in the airplane uh -huh. and the way the airplane sits. It seems like 
you really got to get that nose. I'll show you here. Okay. Here, 65, increasing and correcting. Blair traffic, Cessna 3665, Charlie, short final, 13, full stop, Blair. Nice. That nose, see, as soon, yeah. soon as the mains touched down, not, you felt the nose touch down shortly after, but the nose was still high. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about in these 172 RGs. Really got to protect that nose wheel. Yeah. That was a good landing. Oh, thank you, buddy. Usually grease it in, but... Uh, <laughs> It was a little slow there, but it was still, you know, we were definitely okay. Yeah. Enjoyable. I'm glad I went up. Yeah, I'm glad you did too. Sometimes it's good to break the boredom, you know, when you got someone to go with you. Yeah. That's a nice airplane too. Thank you. <laughs> I wish I owned it. Yeah, that's a Phenom 300. Jeez. That is a fast airplane. There's a Citation too. That's like. Greg Young's airplane. Oh yeah. Oh, that's right. You s he has that Mooney too, right? No, that's uh, that's O'Daniel Honda. The o oh, okay. Mike O'Daniel owns the Mooney, and his son owns that Aerostar. He was working on in there. I gotcha. I used to be Greg Young's pilot, and then my old boss wanted me back, so he bought my contract out with him, and now <laughs> I'm back with. I told him I'd always come back if they ever wanted me back. Yeah. Clear on the right. All right, man. I'll have you help me push this bitch in. Yes, sir. Going off comm. Good. That's the other thing I forgot to check while we were at cruise. What's that? See how loud the inside of the cabin is with my head headset. You know, it's not as bad as you think it is because it's got some pretty good soundproofing in it. That's awesome. Okay, we'll shut these down. Well. Camera's off. Well, I bought this 360 cam. I 